Traits can determine your Sims personality and are an important feature of The Sims 3 game. Trying to decide what traits your Sim can have is an important and sometimes difficult process. You want a Sim that is nice and easy to play, however after a while that can get a little boring. Be aware that if you're focusing your traits on one particular goal, this can sometimes make the game even more difficult to play and a little bit boring. For example, if you select an ambitious, commitment issue, disciplined, lucky, genius sim, you might get a sim that shoots up through the ranks of their profession really easily, however their family life might suffer. Similarly, if you select a good, friendly, family-oriented, nurturing, clean sim, then you'll end up with an amazing housekeeper and nanny for your children. However, the character's, character's depth isn't all that interesting. Also, when they're no longer having much to do with children, you've got two traits that are pretty much doing nothing. So it's an important choice to make. Some general facts about traits. Each sim can have up to five traits at any given time. There are 63 traits in the base game, three more were added with World Adventures, an additional six with Ambitions, another three with Late Nights, but only two with Generations. That is a whopping 77 traits, 2,370,900,000 937,800 combinations, give or take, and that doesn't include having less than five traits either, so no wonder it gets confusing, but it can be really, really interesting. So how do you select the best traits for your sim to make the game interesting? Firstly, don't be afraid to use the random generator. I was looking around on the forums and just around on different websites to try and find out how other people find their combinations and a lot of people didn't like using the random generator. They never posted why though. So anyway, first one of the more important things to look at is what is your goal for the sim? Family oriented or work, travel, fun, combination of the above. With your goal in mind, I'd select two traits that would be of benefit to your first goal and then another two traits that will be benefit to your second. Then select something quirky that will make it fun and interesting to play. This is sometimes hard to select because you don't want to put yourself out and maybe make an unlucky sim so that things do break all the time. When playing a family and having children there were two options on how traits were awarded to the children. A third has been added within generations. The first two were if you look after them well you get to select your own. If they weren't looked after they'd have traits generated for them and they were generally negative. The third one that was added in generations is to send your children off to the different boarding schools. The different boarding schools have a different chance of them coming back with one of three or four different traits. Another video on that later. If you find that your selection of traits is just too difficult, you're bored, you want to change to see what else you can do with your sim, you can change them. Using the lifetime reward points from granting their wishes, you can select the midlife crisis for 20,000 points or you can use the cheats Control shift c then no spaces, testing cheats enabled and then space, on. Shift click the sim in question that you want to change the traits for, modify traits for active sims and then you'll be able to change the traits. This works for any sim that you can click on. Some of the traits have benefits while others have shortcomings and some have a combination of them both and it's important to be aware of these. I'd like to go through them all now but we're past the four minute mark and I don't think YouTube would allow for the length of video to go into the de into detail on 77 different traits. So I can do some videos later if you guys want me to. Leave a comment below on what traits you want me to look at and then I can do that for you. And I will post a new video on that for you. 
don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Feel free to post a comment to make sure you tell me what traits you want. Subscribe if you already haven't. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye. I'm waving like you can see me. Ha <laughs> ha.